Hope everybody's feeling good today. So uh, let's get our warm up going and uh, we're gonna take it to it. So uh, today's gonna be a lower body focus. So let's get into the hips and the quads and warm all of that good stuff up. So let's start in a kneeling position and then take your left foot and step it forward. And step forward enough to get a 90 degree bend on this front knee. And then what you're gonna do is just drop your hip to the floor. All right, so we're gonna stretch this quad, this right side here, stretching through the hip as well. Good, and then you're gonna push back, straighten this front leg, you just reach for the toe. So getting through your hamstring here. So we're going hip and quad, switching from this hip and quad stretch, and then switching it into a hamstring stretch. Yeah, just keep rocking back and forth here, we'll be here for a few more here. Hips and quads, and hamstrings. Let's just do one more here, hips and quad. Good, and then hamstrings. Sweet. And switch sides, same thing. So, I'm gonna press forward first. You can feel this through my glutes as well. And then getting your hip and quad on the opposite side. And then pushing back, straighten this front leg. Reach for your toe, stretching through your hamstrings. Breathing into it, getting ready, get your mind ready for this workout. We do some Imam today, Imam style. Every minute on the minute. Let's do one more here, push back, reach for your toe, stretch through the hammies, and then forward, good, stretch here, stretching here, excellent, cool. Let's take it back down to the hands and knees, let's take both hands to the floor right in front of your knees, widen your fingers, lock out your elbows, and just rock forward here a little bit. We're just going to do a little stretch through the forearms, this is a good stretch to do when you are spending a lot of time typing, texting, etc, etc. Turn the palms out. Fingers down, and then heel of the palm is pressing away from you. With just this little subtle rocking back, stretching into the forearms and wrists. Good, put the backs of the hands down now. Yeah, again, you're gonna lock out your elbows and just a little rock back. Good, just to get those forearms and wrists loose. Good, and just shake it out. Excellent. Let's go to a quick straddle, so go ahead and have a seat. And let's open the legs up nice and wide. And just tipping forward, trying to get your elbows to the floor. Not gonna spend a ton of time on these, just enough time to move through, getting ourselves warmed up. Reach for your left foot, think chest to the knee. Good. Reach for the other foot. Again, think chest to the knee. Excellent, and let's bring the legs together in front of you into this pike position and reach for your toes. Good, try to keep the legs straight so if you're here with the knees bent, not really getting much out of it. Straighten the legs. And if you can't find your toes, just put your hands on your shins. Good. And now bring the soles of the feet together, open up the knees, grab your feet, and pull the knees down using those muscles in your quads. Quad muscles. Good. Let's flip it over. Back to our hands and knees, and let's warm up our spine. So let's think back of the head to the tailbone, inhale through the nose. And then pressing forehead toward the knee, exhaling, pushing up through the middle of your back. And let's repeat that. So inhale here. And then exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Give me one more. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Let's return our spines to neutral. Tuck your toes. Press your tailbone up to the ceiling. Push your chest down and back towards your feet. Good, reaching those heels into the floor. You can step one at a time if you need to. Let's walk the hands back. <clears throat> let's keep our feet wide. And let's bring both hands over towards your left foot. Again, chest to the knee. And swing it over to the right. And swing it back. And we're just gonna do a little pendulum swing back and forth. Excellent, good. Walk your feet in now to about hip distance. Give me that deep squat, just drop those hips, push the knees out. Good, grab your right ankle with your left hand and reach your right arm to the sky. Breathing, switch sides. Good, elbows inside the knees, lean forward, push the knees out. There we go, rock back to your heels, straighten both legs, drop your head. Good, slight bend to the knees as you roll up one vertebrae at a time. 
Good. Let's get some shoulder rolls here, up, back, down, forward. You guys know the drill. Good. Both directions. Right here. Good. And hands on your hips, chin to your chest. Let's roll the necks around. Good. And reverse direction. Good. Excellent. Looking straight ahead. Extend both arms out to the side. Give me some little circles here. Just little mini circles here. Good, and we're gonna progressively make these circles bigger. And keep progressively making them bigger until they're as big as you can get them. Good, big circles here. And then we're going to oops, switch direction. Open the chest, swing those arms back. And then progressively make these circles smaller until you're back where you started, going the opposite direction. And we're gonna sit here for 10, nine, eight, reach those arms out. Five, four, three, two, one. Just some chops here. Good, into some rotations here. Excellent, take these rotations to the hip. Bend the right knee, reach it out, and then bend the left knee, reach it out. Right knee reaches out, left knee reaches out. Right knee, left knee, right knee. Good, a couple more times. And right into some jumping jacks, tap the fingers, slap the thighs. Give me 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And extend those arms out in front of your chest. Give me those seal jacks. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me those skater hops. Yep, hop off of one leg, land on the other, reach the opposite leg back behind you. Good. That's right. Imagine you're standing in the middle of an X, hop out to two corners, back to the middle, and then other two corners, and back to the middle. Real easy here. Good, side to side. Yep, forward and back. There you go, twist your hips. Yeah, heart rate's getting up there again, side to side. Come on, forward and back. Just like that, twist your hips. Good, and then lastly, let's pump the knees. A little swing of the arms. We got an easy pace going here. We're gonna keep this easy pace going for five, four, three, two, one, and then we're gonna kick that pace up, swinging the arms. We're gonna keep this going for five, four, three, two, time. Okay, so like I said earlier, today's gonna to be EMOM, every minute on the minute. I got three rounds, each round or three circuits, each circuit contains three exercises. The first two exercises of the three exercise circuit is gonna be for reps. I'll give you a rep count. You'll have a minute to complete those reps and the remainder of the minute to rest for the first two. The final exercise is gonna be for time. You're gonna go 40 seconds straight through, resting 20 seconds. So that's the third minute. The first round of three exercises, first circuit, we're gonna repeat four times. And then the second and third circuit, we're gonna repeat three times. That is your workout today. When we are done, you are done. That is the deal. So let me go over these first three exercises. You will need one dumbbell to complete these first three. So I'm holding the dumbbell in my right hand. I'm gonna bounce on my left leg. We're gonna do a single leg deadlift, right? So I'm balancing on my left leg if I'm holding the dumbbell in my right. Tipping forward, reaching that right leg back, finding my balance, working through the left hip. Drive it forward and then step right back into a reverse lunge. Right, so it's sort of like a one-two punch on that left leg. So we go, deadlift, reverse lunge. And back to it, deadlift and reverse lunge. We're gonna do six of those two, six deadlift, six reverse lunge on one leg, six on the other. Again, you will have a minute to do those the remainder of the minute to rest. So just work along with me. I don't know why I dropped that because the next exercise is gonna require a dumbbell. So now we're gonna stagger. So I don't want you to get fully staggered here. I actually want you to just imagine, just take one little step back and then we're here, right? So it's not a full extension of that back leg. Just about half of that distance. Push your butt back, lean forward, and we're just gonna row. 
So what I don't want you to do is anchor your elbow on the opposite knee, unless you've got back problems. And if you do, then do this position here. But here, we're gonna work more of this front quad and glute, and we're also gonna work more core. That's gonna be 12 on each side. And lastly, we're gonna do a jump squat, or sorry, sorry, <laughs> squat, jump, squat combo, 40 seconds. So you're gonna go squat, repeat, the, uh, finish the whole squat, and then jump squat, boom, finish it. And then squat, full range of motion, jump squat, full range of motion. And we just repeat that cycle, squat, jump squat, for 40 seconds. That is what we're doing. Get your dumbbell ready. Let's get this bad boy going. Get my timer set up here. Let's do it. We're starting with single leg deadlift reverse lunge. We're gonna go in five, four, right arm loaded. Let's do it. We go deadlift, step it back. That's one. Deadlift, step it back. That's two. Deadlift, boom. Get your balance, step it back. That's three. Keep it going. That's four. Woo! That's five. We got one more right here. Boom. And that's six. Switch arms real quick here. Time is going. Boom. That's one. This is the halfway point. So if you're not keeping up with me, if you didn't get all those reps in, switch at the halfway point and just match the legs. That was four, and five, and six. Just like that. We got like five seconds, so here we go. Switch arms, right arm loaded, right foot is back. Right here, give me 12. One, two, three. Pull the shoulder blades back. Five, pull the dumbbell back toward the pocket. Seven. Nine, 10, one, two. 12 is our number, switch sides. Right to it, go. One, two, three, breathing. Four, the shoulder blade back. Six, seven, come on. Nine, 10, two more, and one, two. Ooh, at least it's a good 20 seconds. Unless you're still getting your 12 in. If you are, keep going. We got 15 seconds. 10, now we do a squat, squat jump combo for 40 seconds straight. Get ready. Three, two, one. We go squat and then we go jump squat. And then squat, jump squat. Chop the hands back. Good, squat. Chop those hands back when you are jumping. We go squat, jump squat, push the floor away. We go squat, jump squat, right? Here we go, squat, jump squat. 10 more seconds, squat, jump squat. Good, give me one more. Squat and jump squat time. 20 seconds. That was our first round. We're gonna go three more. You got a 10 second break here and we're back to our deadlift reverse lunge combo. Here we go, three, right arm loaded, left leg working. We go deadlift reverse lunge, one. Deadlift and two. Here and three. Four, here, and five. We're going six, come on. And we switch arms, switch legs, go. One, one. That was the halfway mark. So if you didn't get all six, switch and match. That's three. Think of your hip and then your quad, four. Five, come on. And step it back. Six, if you were keeping up with me, that's a 10 second break. Here we go. Three, two, one, right arm. Right foot back, reach your hip back, tip forward, 
pull to the pocket, two, that shoulder to pull back, four, five, six, breathing into it, come on, good, we're going 12, that's 10, one, two, switch it, right to it, go, one, nice flat back here, two, three, let's go, four, five, six, we're going 12, seven, come on, eight, nine, 10, keep that core engaged, and two, Ooh. 15 seconds, then we go squat, squat jump, 10 seconds, getting it going right out of the gate, three, two, one, regular squat, full range of motion, and then jump squat, squat, Jump squat. Squat. You know the deal. Good. Squat. Jump squat. Good. Squat. Jump squat. Get up there, man. Get as high as you can on that jump squat. Swing the arms back. Land back in that squat position. Come on. Come on. And jump squat. Time, 20 seconds. Grab a quick sip if you need it. That was halfway. Get ready, because we go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Step it back, and one. Now, if you can only get five of these, that's fine. Or four, it's great. I'll take what I can get. Three. It's a lot of coordination here. A lot of balance. Good, this is my sixth. We step it back six. Here we go. This is the halfway mark. 30 second mark, so switch if you need to. Two, grab the floor with your foot. Three, come on. Four, five, and that's six. Switch arms, get ready. Bed rows in three, two, one. Give me 12, go. One, two, three. Four, breathing. Going 12, nine, 10, one, two, switch it, right to it. Come on, one, two, three, four, come on, nice neutral back. Try not to look straight ahead, let your neck go naturally off your spine. Good, 10, two more. One, two. All right, we got 20 seconds here. Enjoy that. Ten seconds, and we're back to our squat, jump, squat combo. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go squat, jump, squat. Squat, jump squat, squat, jump squat, good, squat, jump it, come on, hey, get up there, squat, let's go, push the floor and launch it, 10 more seconds, One more of each. Squat and jump it. 20 seconds. One more round. Woo! Quick sip of water. And we got our final set of this first circuit. Here we go. Let's go. Single leg deadlift. 
reverse lunge. Yeah. And if you need to, you could just stand next to a wall. You could use this wall to help you with your balance. And then step it back. What was that, four? <laughs> I lost count. Five, one more. And six, good, switch. That is the halfway mark. Keep your chest up when you do that reverse lunge. Whoop, there goes my balance. Three, good, stay tall. Four, come on. Five, this is it, last one here. Step it back, woo, get ready. Three, two, one, right back to our rows, let's go. One, going 12. Now if you need to, anchor your elbow, like so. Otherwise you're here. Two more, one, two, switch it. Here we go. Breathe into it. Come on. Two more. Twenty seconds. And then our last set. Squat jump squat combo. 10 seconds, get ready. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's do a squat, jump squat. Squat, make sure when you're doing that jump squat, you're landing back in that squat. Full range of motion squat, full range of motion, jump squat, squat, jump squat. Squat, breathe, come on, push the floor, swing those arms back. We got about 10 seconds. One more of each. And jump. Sip of water, that sounds about right. Great work. All right, that was our first round. Well done. Three, two, one, And done. end of our official minute there. Now, we're staying with our EMOM protocol. Same setup, same style. First two exercises are for reps. The final one will be for time. 40 seconds will be the time. So now, we're gonna do a single arm thruster, I'm gonna show you with a lighter weight. I'll kick it up when I get into the actual workout. But again, I'm gonna add in a little element that's gonna engage your core and also work on your balance. So we're gonna do single arm thrusters. Thruster is a squat and press. It's that simple. But when you press overhead with your right arm, I want you to lift your left knee up. So you're gonna go contralateral with that. It's gonna look like this. Squat, boom. Squat, punch. So we're gonna get that contraction. We're gonna work through the hip flexors, work on your balance, as well as that full over, overhead extension. That's gonna be seven on each arm. Total of 14 reps. Then, you're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna do a floor press, but I want you to do it a little differently. We're gonna do a reverse grip floor press. So my palms, right, are supinated. They're facing above me as opposed to being facing down toward my knees. So what we're doing here is we're engaging our triceps by rotating those palms out. So when you're doing your floor press, you're going to lock them out at the top and squeeze your triceps. All right, we're going to do 20 of those suckers. 20. Keep your hip up, keep your glutes engaged the whole time. Then our timed exercise we're gonna work our core. And this one is tough, tough, tough. So it's the same side bicycle. I use this all the time. Everybody hates it, loves it, but hates it. You know how it is. So hands are behind your head, feet are here. 
I'm going to reach my left arm out, I mean left foot out, sorry, excuse me, left leg, and I'm going to tap the right knee with my left elbow and then bring it back. So I go here, 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 like so. We stay on the same side for 20 seconds and then we switch. Now, if you're like, Michael, that's too easy for me. Give me something to chew on here. Okay, extend both legs, pull one knee in at a time with both legs extended, returning that extension on both legs. That is, is pretty tough right there, pretty tough. So tough, I'm even debating on whether or not I'm gonna do that version <laughs> during the workout. It's just that tough, but I probably will. All right, enough talking, let's get to doing single arm thruster with a knee lift, opposite side. Imam style, so we got a minute to get them done, the remainder of the minute to rest. We're going seven, each arm, right arm loaded. We go down, lift the left leg, one, good. Down, and down. Now notice I'm taking the time to restart from this position. I'm not just going right into it. Boom, like so. Was that five? <laughs> Six, seven, switch sides. Now if the knee lift is just like not working for you, Take it away. Two. Three. Four. But get that core working. Five. Come on. Six. And seven. Nice work. Ten seconds. Grab your dumbbells. Reverse grip. Here we go. Three. Two. One, turn those palms up and back down. Good, get that little squeeze at the top. Ah, oh, sweat in the eyes. Oh. Four, come on. Five, feel those triceps working. Six, seven, we're going 20. Eight, nine, come on. 10, 10 more, let's go. 10, nine, eight, Keep those glutes engaged. Six. Ooh, these are tough. Five, four, three, two, and one. Those are sneaky. Get this sweat out of my eyes. We got 15 seconds. Unless you're still working on your 20 reps. If you are, keep going. We got our same side bicycles coming up. Here we go. Three. Two, all right, I'll do this version. We go here, stand. Yep, this right here, oh man. Just stayed on that same side. Come on. Three, two, one, switch it. Try to make contact with the knee. Come on. 10 seconds. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh man. Time, 20 seconds. Whew. Luckily, there's only three rounds of this one. Because, my goodness. Shoo. All right, get ready. We're back to those thrusters, seven on each side with that opposite leg lift. Let's go. Down, punch. Two, three, four. That full extension on that arm. Five, take a bicep to the ear. Six, seven, switch it. Go. One. Two, three, come on, four, five, let's go, six, and seven, shoo, ten seconds, we're back to our first grip, floor press, for 20, right here, one, 
two. Don't rush through these. Get that squeeze at the top. Good. Six. Squeeze your glutes. Eight. Nine. Ten. I need ten more. Let's go. One. Two. Three. You got this. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And nine. Ten. Sneaky. Those things get the job done. All right, 15 seconds. We're back to our same side. Bicycles. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, the original version is here. Both these are bent. Reach the left leg out as you tap the right knee with the left elbow. This is the easier version. Keep it going. Switch sides. Make sure you're twisting, right? Not pulling on the back of the head. You still got space between your chin and your chest. Come on. You got five more seconds. Three, two, one, time. 20 second break. Good stuff. All right. One more of each. Here we go. Three, right arm, left leg. Go, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going seven. Switch it, let's go. One, two, come on, three, four, two more, last one, all right, 10 seconds, let's get those triceps. Three, two, one. Go. Looking for 20. One, two, three. Get that squeeze. Lock the elbows out, squeeze the back of the arm. Keep the glutes engaged. Don't overextend. I got 10 more. Good, good. You got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Arr. 20 seconds. Unless you're still going, if you are, keep it going. Same side bicycles. I'm gonna do the harder version this time. How about you? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Right here, 20 seconds. You could do this. The higher you lift the legs to, the little easier it'll be. Come on, five, four, three, two. We switch sides, let's go. Come on, 15 seconds. If you need to just take a little break, go for it and then get back to it. I'm gonna be here. Keep it going. Three, two, one, time. Oh! Whew. Oh, that was our last exercise of that round. All right. I think it's time for a little sip of water. We'll let this time expire. All right, and we have our third 
and final round. Let's get to it. All right, so next, we're gonna do some alternating reverse lunges. We're gonna do, add a little twist to it, add a little core movement to it. So, grabbing a dumbbell, holding it here in front of your chest, you're gonna step back on either leg, doesn't matter, but what does matter is the direction you twist. So you step back on your left, twist to your right. So twist over the front bent extended leg. Twist away from that down leg, right? So we'll go. One, back up, two, and back up, okay? That is gonna be eight reps on each side, eight on each side, total 16 reps. Then, we got our triceps, right? So now we gotta get those biceps. So we're gonna do a round of 10, 10, 10 curls. These are tough. If you know me, you've probably done these before. Both arms are gonna hold a 90 degree angle. We're gonna go 10 reps on one arm while the opposite arm holds the angle. Then we switch, 10 reps on the other arm, and then we do both for 10. That's 30 reps total, 10, 10, 10 curls. Then lastly, we're gonna do a side lever. Now there's a few ways you can do this. It's essentially a side plank with a hip raise. But you could do it with a straight arm here and lift, here and lift, or you could do it with a bent elbow. You don't get as much range of motion here as you do with a straight arm, but you still get those obliques working. But if you also need to modify further, bend both knees, and you could do it from a bent knee position. Now, if you're super duper, great shape and all that fun stuff, you can lift a leg. Oh. A little extra bonus there. So we'll do those side levers. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds on each side. And that's what we got. That's our final round. Reverse lunge and twist. We're gonna do our 10, 10, 10 curls. And then we're gonna do our side levers for 20 seconds on each side. We're going nine sets total. This is gonna take us home. Here we go. Uh, yes, reverse lunge and twist. Eight reps each side, grab your dumbbell. Here we go. Left leg step back, rotate right. One, stay on this side. Two, get that back knee down. If you have a really light dumbbell, reach it out in front of you, like so. Drop that back knee. Good. We're going eight. That was my eight. We switch sides, go. One, get those shoulders to turn over. Two, three, full range of motion. Don't rush through it. Four, it's only 16 reps, you'll, you'll get them done. Five, come on, six, seven, and that's eight, simple. All right, 15 seconds, we got our 10, 10, 10 curls. I'm using 15 pounds, that, is an ambitious weight. So we'll see. I may go grab a tens. Here we go, grab your dumbbells. Right here, right arm goes. One, 90 degree angle on the left. Three, full range of motion on the right. Five, going 10, six, come on. Seven, eight, nine, right arm holds. Left arm goes, one, come on, stand tall. Three, four, chest is up. Five, six, let's go. Seven, eight, ooh, nine. Now we do both for 10. Ah oh, man, go. One, come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, shoo, five seconds, three, two, one. All right, we're here. Drop it, lift it, drop and lift. And I just reach that opposite arm up to the ceiling. You could put it on your hip. Now, if your wrist bugs you here, again, you could take it down and your biceps are just smoked. You could go here, bent knee, either way. Keep it going, three, two, one, and switch. Push the hip up, press the rib cage away from the floor. Your shoulder will also push down slightly. Come on. 
three, two, one, time. Now, if the lifting of the hip is just like, you know, it's in the workout a little too much, just hold the side plank. That's also yet another option. All right, two more rounds, everybody. Time is not on our side here. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two. Make sure both knees are getting to 90 degrees. Three, right? We don't want this, that knee getting way out. Five, six, seven. We're going eight. Switch sides. One, come on. Two, three, four. Let's go. Five, six, and seven, eight. Yes. 15 seconds. I'm a little worried about this next set of curls. 10 seconds. All right, get ready. Here we go. Three, Three two, two, one, go. I'm going to go left start. One, two, three, four. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch sides. Go. Oh, man. One, two, ah, three. Come on. Four. Five, ooh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now we do both. I'm gonna do hammer curls. I'm gonna keep my palms turned in like this. One, two, three, keep it going. Four, five, six, seven, eight, don't let those shoulders shrug, and ten. Oh, man. Oh, perfect timing. Three, two, one. Right here. Drop the hip, stretching. Lift the hip, contracting. Stretch, contract. Not in a hurry here, but oh, man, my biceps right now are screaming. What are you doing? Push the shoulder down. Three, two, one. Switch it. Here. Press it up. Come on. Again, just hold if you need to. Three, two, one. Ugh. Time. Man. Shoo. We got 15 seconds. We got our final round of each. Let's do this. Three, two, two, one. Go. Step back and twist. One, two. I still feel my biceps. Three, four, five, six, seven. Switching sides. Right to it, go. One, two, come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, I'm grabbing tens. He's grabbing tens, folks. Yep. This is happening. <laughs> All right, both elbows right here. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Get that squeeze. Six, seven. Keep your chest up. Eight, nine, ten. Switch it. Go. One, two. Get that squeeze. Three, four. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's get both of them. Let's go. 
One, two, three. Come on, four, ah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! Three. All right, three, two, one. Let's do this. Last set right here. We go, drop it as low, press it up high. Drop it low, press it high. Push the rib cage away from the floor. Get those obliques working. Switch. Right to it. Go. Come on. 10 more seconds. We got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Woo! All right, real quick. Let's get those biceps a little, a little love. So lie down, extend your left arm out to the side. Roll your body toward Three, that arm. Two, one, done. And reach the opposite arm behind you. Try to touch your hands behind you. Palm is down, that left arm. So you get a nice stretch through the biceps. Yep. Good. Switch sides. So we reach the arm out. Right palm is down. Right here. Nice work today, everybody. That was a tough one. Awesome. Good. Let's press up. Then let's go into Cobra. Good. Let's push back. Keep your hip over your knee. Right? So don't go all the way down. Keep the hip over the knee. Walk your hands out and push your armpits to the floor. Good. Press back up to the hands and knees. Let's get another little cat-cow stretch here. So back of the head to the tailbone. Inhale. Exhale, forehead to the knees. Again, back of the head to the tailbone. Forehead to the knee. Excellent. Return your spine to neutral. Tuck your toes. Push your tailbone up. Push your chest down and back towards your feet. Press the knees away from you. Try to get the heels down. Walk your hands back. Walk your feet in. Roll it up. Ha! Ah, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. I hope you got a good one. Uh, I will see you all next time. Take care.